Hey everyone, so I normally report what's at the outlet, Disney outlet, over by Disneyland. I'm actually on vacation for Labor Day. So today is Labor Day and I am in the outlets in Desert Hills. It's in Palm Springs area and I happen to see that they're doing a sale today. Take an extra 25% off, so let's see what's there. Ooh, it's a really cute jacket. Size small. Originally 40 and now it's $17.99. $21.99 for this one. Look at these really cute pajamas. Oh, the baby pajamas always get me. And this one was $24.99 originally. And right now it is $15. They have all of these holidays or swell creamer sets. This one's $13.99, the Thumper. This Bambi one is $12.99. They also have the one with the flower for $12.99. And the best part is it's 25% off on top of these prices. So, for instance, $12.99 is probably about $9.74. These are crazy, crazy deals. I love it. The whole wall of it. Then they have these, I remember seeing these last holiday season. These are the antenna topper sets with the Happy New Year and the Christmas ones. The price says $5.99, discounted from $17.99 originally. And again, 25% off of that. This is one of my favorites. It is Jack Skellington for $6.99, down from $22.99. Bone Daddy. And they have all these mugs. This Mickey's Longboard Surf one is $6.99. They have this Elsa and Anna one for $4.99. They just have this flowery Hawaiian looking one for $4.99. And this one is a Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout mug for $7.99. It says let's boogie. <laughs> That's cute. Originally it was $15.99 in the parks. And this, I happened to buy this for my daughter last year. I want to say around November or something. The full price and it was $15.99. This is $4.99 now. Then they have all these flip flops. It's $4.99. These flip flops. Up to size 11. There's more of those Bone Daddy photo frames. Here's another mug, Surf Shop. Originally $15.99, and it's now $4.99. And they have two different photo frames. There's this Splash Mountain one, $6.99, down from $16.98. And I remember when this was brand new, these Neverland ones. They originally were $30, right now they are $9.99 and with the discount around $6.70. I might have to get one of these. This looks like it's a Minnie Mouse coin bank. Yeah, there's a coin thing, $15.95, down to $7.99 right now. They have the Star Wars bubble blower. Oh, that's cool. For $9.99. They also have these BB-8 ones for $9.99. And these There's Jack Skellington one. hats I've seen before for $4.99. Okay, here, you pick which they one have these lanyards like? for Nightmare Before Christmas. And the price on this, see it says Disney Parks right there. Um, the price is $2.99 down from $12.99. And this is my favorite. Here is a starter pin set, which I think I'm going to have to get. It's a pin training star set. You have four pins included. And it's $7.99 discounted from $30 in the parks. So That's crazy. And then you have Nightmare Before Christmas uh, playing cards for $5.99. Down from $10. And down here, Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, $4.99 for this puzzle piece. 50 puzzles. 50 puzzle pieces in this set. Cool! And there's even these Haunted Mansion puzzles. $5.99. Down from $22 in the parks. This is pretty cool. 
these dresses are 30 and in the parks I think they retail usually for around 64 or something There's the Anna version Elsa looks like a Sophia dress then you have these oh my gosh these socks are adorable there is Dopey and Olaf oh my gosh and you know you have from the Fox and the Hound, Aladdin, Yubini. Oh my goodness. Even from Emperor's New Groove, Jungle Book. Uh, yep. I'm gonna have to get these socks. These are only $3.99 today. Definitely happening. And you have this Mickey cake pan thing, which I think sells for around $10 or $15 in the park. I'm not really sure what the price is here. They have these princess hats like this. Pretty cute. And I don't see a price on this either. $24.99 for this Elena of Avalor um, tiara headband, and it's $9.99. Looks like they have some cars, ears. These are $6.99 today, discounted from Lavender, which I think is around $18 in the parks. They still have plenty of these frozen pin sets in this store for $4.99. You have the Mickey ear hats, and these are $5.99. Some more of these 2017 antenna toppers for a dollar. You have these for $6.99. So I saw this previously. These are around $6.99. There's Dale, $6.99. These are $7.99 for these cars ones. Then you have some photo case phone cases. $8.99 for that one. $14.99 for that one. $12.99. And again, all this says take an extra 25% off. The Star Wars metal kit. All of these different ornaments from the park, $7.99 each, it seems. I love the woody one. Perfect for Toy Story Land right now. And this is $7.99. Here's a stitch one. And they even have Snow White themed ears. With her name on the back, says so Snow White. And this is $9.99, down from $25 in the parks for these ornaments. And there's Goofy. And even Donald Duck. And all these are autographed with their names in the back. These are really cute. $1.50 Disney Parks clearance for all these scarves. This is even a Haunted Mansion themed one right here. The price was originally $24.99. And then you have some hats. 25% off. Original price. Just says youth on that one. Here we go. It was coral originally and it's $6.99 right now. Here's some cute bell onesies, but my favorite. Fantasyland is my home. And this is currently $10.99. Down from $35. So much better selection at this outlet than the one closer to Disneyland, I have to say. I'm going to have to browse through all the clothes. It's pretty crowded, so I don't want to take too much time, but that is my outlet haul for today. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. Okay, so you just watched my outlet footage, and that again was not at my normal location at the Citadel Outlets near, right outside Disneyland, but instead it was in Desert Hills Premium Outlets, which was about 
um, two hours away from my normal destination. It's in the middle of Palm Springs, Palm Desert area, and it was super crowded because it was Labor Day weekend. I actually went on Labor Day, which was yesterday at this point. But there's no rush in me uploading this footage because um, the deals that I was there for, which was an extra 25% off, which had been going on since the previous weekend, just ended yesterday, I was told. So I was there at the right time, I guess, because it was special deals I wouldn't have been able to take advantage of otherwise. And since I was driving on my way back home, we decided to stop and I have some goodies. So I don't normally buy this Disney store bag because I already have one in my car, but since I was in a rush and just had come out of the car, I didn't have my normal bag and they're no longer giving you the plastic bag, so I did pick this up. So let me share with you what I got. So one of the first things I picked up was this pretty cool photo frame, and I did see this when it was on full price at the Disney Home Store in Disneyland about, I want to say four months ago or so, maybe five months ago now. And this was $30, it was full price, but I saw this at the outlet and I could not resist because it was only $6. And I want to say I bought nine different items and everything that I bought was came out to about $36 or $38 total with tax, which is a pretty good deal. I think that's like one of the best deals I've ever gotten at the outlet stores because of the extra 25% off sale. So this says Neverland on the bottom and then you have Captain Hook's or, you know, Peter's <laughs> ship on top and uh, it, it has Peter Pan right there in this little photo that you can put any photo you want in this frame and I just happen to like that it says Neverland and it kind of encapsulates Disney for me, um, the whole brand in general. So I saw this fun little photo frame and for the price I could not just leave it there. Next I picked up another ornament. So. If you watch my channel before, you happen to know that I happen to love my Disney ornaments. We have a big Disney tree that goes out every Christmas um, season, and this will be no different. I did buy a lot of new ornaments uh, in the past couple months, and this I could not resist also at an extra discount. This is one of those ear hat ornaments. They sell for $25 in the parks, and you can see here the price says $24.99 on the original tag, and it was $9.99 was the actual price, and then with the extra discount, this came out to, I think, six. 70 ish so it was a really good deal and you can see it has the apple design right there kind of looks like snow white's dress on the ear portion and then of course on the back it is autographed with snow white's autograph right there so it's a cute little snow white themed ornament i thought why not i don't actually have one and this will be a great addition to my collection Okay, one of the next items I bought was for a future giveaway, but I couldn't resist because this is a loop scarf. And this is a Haunted Mansion theme. If you saw my video, they also had a Jack Skellington theme. They had the red furry uh, material that I've been seeing in the outlets for a couple months now. They had the yellow one that I saw the past couple times, but this one stood out to me just because I love the design. And I know that Haunted Mansion is really popular with a lot of people. I would keep this, except that I don't actually live in a cold enough climate to wear this, but I know a lot of people do love their scarves, so I bought this for a future giveaway, and again, the sign in the store said that this was $1.50, all the scarves, at that particular moment, although looking at my receipt, it looks like, since this did not have a tag on it, I was charged $1.99, so whoever rung me up charged me 49 extra cents for this, but that's okay, <laughs> because it's still a pretty good price for this, so... $1.50, $1.99, either way, it's an official Disney Park scarf, and this will be in a future giveaway. Then I picked up this blouse. Now this is a Cinderella shirt. I hadn't seen this in my outlet stores previously, but it has Cinderella, and she is holding up the glass slipper. I don't know if you can see that because it's a very fine blue color. It has a sparkly, bedazzled uh, touch right there. And this is a cute tank top. I'm always looking for new tank tops to wear around the parks because it's very hot. So I decided to just get a Cinderella blouse for the future. As another sign of a great deal that I couldn't resist, I picked up two of these. And these were the Disney socks that they had on sale from the Disney parks. They were on sale for $3.99. And again, it was additional 25% off of that. So I think they came out to two and change. And it's just a really, really neat design. I mean, you have so many different characters. There's Flounder on the top, there's Chip. I didn't even notice this in the, in the store and I did the filming, but there's Chip, there's Flounder, there's Olaf, there's Dopey, 
there's Lumiere, there's even Elliot from Pete's Dragon. I mean, the list just goes on of all the classic characters that are on this one particular sock. This, again, encapsulates Disney. I could not see this one pair of socks and pass it up. They're kind of a thin material, but it doesn't matter because they are themed. Oh my gosh, and the back is different. I didn't even notice that the first time either. The back has a completely different villainous design. Oh my god. You've got Sher Khan. You've got... <laughs> oh my goodness, you have Gaston. You have the witch. Oh my... Ah, from Tangled. I'm, I'm like speechless right now because I didn't even notice this in the store. But this makes this purchase that much better. So you have like sort of a heroic characters on one side you know the ones that you like you root for and then on the back you have villains this is so cool so i'm even more excited about these socks and again i picked up two because i wanted one for myself but i also wanted to get one for a future giveaway so that will be on this channel they had this pin trading starter set and this is pretty cool because this retails for 30 dollars. it says in the parks and this was only 7.99 and you can see it came with four different pins. You have Jack Skellington, Sally, Zero, and of course, Oogie Boogie. And I'm not the biggest Nightmare Before Christmas collector. However, I do have a couple other pins. And given that I thought this might be good for Halloween, I purchased this. Doesn't hurt that it also comes with this cool little card in the bottom that says Jack Skellington. Not really sure what I'll do with the lanyard. Maybe I'll give that away in the future to a... Jack Skellington slash Nightmare Before Christmas fan, but the pins I definitely wanted to keep, so I did get this selection as well. And last but not least, I also picked up one of these boxes, and I had gotten this from my outlet store in the past, but I decided oh, the box is open. That's interesting. But the box was open, but not the pin bag. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. But anyway, I was saying that in a previous outlet trip, although I didn't show it on this channel, I did see plenty of these boxes and so I picked up two. I ended up giving one to one of my YouTube friends who had mentioned that she wasn't able to find these at her local outlet. So I said, you know what, I will go ahead and send you one because I had plenty. And since I saw it again, I bought another one for myself because I would love to unbox that here on my channel. So we will go ahead and do that now. And I am actually on the fence right now either as to whether I want to keep them or not. I have seen some other people unbox them on YouTube and they look a little pixelated in quality. I do have some other frozen pins on my pin boards, but just for the sake of... Oh, I just noticed I took the other one down because I'm working on it. Whoopsie. But I do have three. <laughs> you saw my most recent video. But um, just for the sake of trying it out and see what they look like, I am going to unbox these and see which ones I got. Okay, so that's my fault. I just noticed that... Because the box was open, I'm actually missing a bag. I'm supposed to have two bags in each box. I only have one because it was open, so I might actually hold off on opening this and see if I can go back to the store and see if they have any more and exchanging it since it was an incomplete box. But I will go ahead and open the other two and see what we got. And we have a troll! So it's actually cool because I actually like the trolls a lot from Frozen. But yeah, it's got like sort of like a Nintendo gamey quality. There is the troll design, and it is one of the trolls from Frozen. So that's pretty neat. Okay, let's see what the other one is. Olaf. Okay, so I have actually seen this particular combination in a couple of different YouTube videos, so I think this is like one of the most popular ones that's out there. But I got one Olaf and one troll, and that's pretty cool because it will go with my other Frozen pins. So here are the two again together. One troll and one, tr one Olaf. Okay, so that is everything I got from the outlet. So again, I just wanted to share my most recent outlet haul. This was surprising to see so much new merchandise from Disneyland at a non-local outlet, but then I always see those comments online that people's outlets have better selections than mine half the time. And that's probably because the one that is close to Disneyland sometimes gets picked clean so fast and sometimes I feel like we don't actually get as much merch as the other outlets around the country because we're so close. I don't know. But I will say that they had a lot of clothing there and I had never seen those Cinderella shirts before. I hadn't seen these goofy long sleeve raglan shirts which I saw either YouTuber unveil that she had purchased at her outlet. So they had a lot more merch. I'm sorry I didn't get to film all the clothes. There were a lot of employees roaming around. There were a lot of people just jam-packed in that store and I thought to be completely filming the entire thing would have just taken too long and be a little awkward, so I just showed you what clothes I bought and which items I bought. 
and hope you guys have all enjoyed. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item is from this latest haul, and stay tuned because I have some more videos coming up. I have a Harry Potter video coming up that is an experience that I just did uh, two weekends ago now, and it was so much fun, and I want to show that really soon on this channel. And then in addition to that, I also have some Disneyland stuff, some Disney store purchases, some more magic mail. I feel like there's been so many more videos of mail that I've gotten. A lot of them were Japanese related from Japan, but I also have um, mail that I'm expecting from from you guys, from my subscribers as well as things that I've ordered that I'd love to share with you. So please stay tuned because all that is coming up soon. And then of course I will be doing a pin board video because that is a long time coming. So thanks so much for sticking with me and if you like this kind of content, Disney in general, please give me a huge thumbs up. A big like. <laughs> and uh, if you don't then you don't have to hit the thumbs down button because why would you? Anyway, so thanks so much for sticking by me and uh, hope to talk to you all soon. Bye!